Is that wrong? Say it wrong. We have a Jeet with us today. He's been a member of the center for a long time, since 81. And uh, he's going to share with us for the 95 for 95 project. So Ajit, just start talking. Saram everybody. My name is Ajit Desai from Chattanooga Sci Center, Tennessee. In 1983, we started from Atlanta and we went to Puerto Puerto At that time, the, there was no direct flight to the Bangalore. So we have to clear our custom in Bombay. But, so we were standing in the long line of the custom clearance. And uh, Cosme had uh, a big uh, instrument of the video recording. He was going to donate it to the uh, Sai students in, at Perthi. So we were standing in the line, four of us, and uh, all of a sudden there was one guy, one officer, in his usual white dress. He came by and he told Cosby that follow me. So we all four of them follow him. He opened up a brand new counter, new counter and he got our passport. He just stamped it and he said go. So we were very relieved and gone to put a birthday. That day, you know, it was kind of evening. We lost the evening darshan. But next day morning, you know, we were in the Prashanti and uh, Swami's Darshan. And at that time, the Kulwant Hall was not there. We were sitting in sand, and Swami comes for the Darshan. He came to us, he asked Kasbi in uh, perfect English, he says, when are you leaving? So Kasbi says, and it will be so-and-so date and so-and-so day. And then Swami kept on walking. And he didn't say anything else. But when he went over there and that one was over, Kasi said, you know, we are going to give, Swami is going to give us an interview. So we were so excited that time. So we attended the morning and evening darshans, expecting that Swami is going to give us an interview. But all these days, you know, we didn't get no interview. And we were getting disappointed and whatever. And one of these, we stayed there several days. Uh, I think week and a half or so. And during that time, one of the day, you know, we decided to go to Sri Rangapatnam, a day trip. So we started early in the morning. Uh, Jay Jarrett, you know, he was not feeling good at that day, so, you know, he decided not to come. So we were only three people, me, Cosby, and Wayne Harris. Not Wayne, but Wayne Harris. He was from the Blue Ridge, Georgia, I believe. So, you know, three of us, we went there at the Sri Rangapatnam, where there's an orphanage is there, and it's run by a guy named Haligappa. So when we reached there, it's in Mysore state. When we reached there, Haligappa greeted her, greeted us, and uh, he told us that, you know, Swami told him last night that there are three people who will be coming tomorrow morning and actually see it was just the uh, four of us should they have it then but Jay decided not to come in so we were only three people but that shocked me he said well Swami knew well in advance and he told us he verified us so when we went up there and then uh, uh, he said well, let's do budgets so we sat down in a, that's a small room in his, uh, and there's a Swami's picture there and there was an altar and then we sat down in front of the picture and as he started the bhajans, we can see that the vibhuti was forming on Swami's picture and it fills up so much that it falls down on the altar and it happens again. The vibhuti comes in and it falls down, the vibhuti comes in and falls down. So that was, uh, you know, very amazing thing for me, and that was my first time to sing. People know that Holikappa, you know, Swami gave him two lockets. Those are two lockets, and those lockets are like an oblong shape. And one of the locket has a Shirdi Baba pictures on it. The other one has a Satyasai Baba picture on it. So he put uh, in my palm, you know, he put on, uh, I believe it was Shirdi Baba's locket. 
and that locket was oozing the nectar. It was Amrita. And it was coming out so much that, you know, he had to scoop it out with the another scoop, with another spoon. And it has a so much fragrance and a real nice taste, not too sweet. And it was very good. So, you know, we had a, and I can see how, you know, it was coming out constantly. And we were so blessed. When we came back to Puttaparthi, you know, we have a few more days to go. So we were expecting Swami to give us an interview. No, and there was no interview. <laughs> uh, but the last day, so Cosby says this is the, you know, uh, last day, so Swami is going to give us, grant us an interview. I said, okay, you know, we were excited. But uh, that day, Swami was in a hurry. He came in. Uh, first on the women's side and then he came into the gent's side and then he was in hurry and he passed us uh, and went to the close to the uh, mandir but then all of a sudden Swami turned around and he asked one of the students and talked to the students and pointed to us so we don't know but that student came running to us and he said Swami wants you all so we were jumped up and went to the Swami's and we sat outside the interview room. Swami was talking to somebody on the portico. And then uh, Swami opened the door, let all of us in. So we sat down as close to Swami's chair as possible. Swami is totally different, totally different inside. Outside, you know, we see like a stern father, you know, very disciplined. Nobody moves, nothing, nobody says any noise or anything like that. But inside, Swami is, you know, all love. I, all, that's all I can say. It's all top to toe, you know, he's totally low. So he sat down and then uh, he was asking everybody, he said, how is everybody doing? Where are you from? You know, there were other two or three families were there from Australia and Germany and one from the India also, and we were there. So then he started uh, talking to these other families and then our turn came in. Then he started uh, talking to Jay, Jay Jared, and Swami says, how are you doing, sir? And uh, Jay says, okay. And Swami says, no, uh, it's not bad. Uh, it will be okay. So that was a reassurance to Jay. He was going through some health problem, but uh, when Swami says, Swami so reassured him that it would be okay. So that was then. And then he turned to uh, Wayne Harris and he asked him the same thing. How are you doing, sir? And he says, okay. And then he said, what are you doing? So he said, I have a, at that time, uh, Wayne had a bar business in uh, Blue Ridge, uh, Georgia. And he said, uh, Swami, I have a bar business. And Swami says, not good, not good. <laughs> and then it came my turn. And at that time, I was expecting that Swami is also going to say, how are you doing, sir? But Swami didn't say that. Swami said, kaise ho? That's in Hindi. That means, how are you doing? And uh, I, I, I went, went black, blank at that time. I couldn't say anything. I had a couple of things I was going to ask Swami, but couldn't ask him. The only thing I remember from that interview is Swami said, study, steady. So I was thinking study, study means, you know, he wants me to read more things and all that. And I tried to do that. And also uh, there was a different meaning came out. I read it somewhere. Steady Swami means the not to get elevated when somebody prays you or go down and somebody criticize you or, or blame you or anything like that. That's he meant steady. So that's all I understand it there. Uh, then uh, the interview was over and we were getting out. As we getting out, you know, Cosby was the last one coming out of the interview room. And uh, Swami turned to him and Swami says, you didn't have any trouble with the custom officer, did you? And we didn't realize that after we came out, you know, we realized that the white dress officer was no other than Swami. You know, 
this is what shows that Swami is omnipresent. You know, he was there in Bombay airport. He was there uh, and he knew what was going on at the Kalikapas place. So he was showing me omniscience and of course omnipotent. So all that I experienced myself, the first hundred, it's not a hearsay or somebody else say. So after we returned to US, uh, Wayne Harris, you know, he had a very good business going. Uh, but when Swami said not good, not good, he came out to Georgia and he sold all his bars. And when I had an interview, I was going to ask Swami to guide me in my career. At that time, we were thinking about several businesses and one of the most one we wanted to go was the liquor store business. And, and when Swami gave the answer to Wayne Harris, that was, gave me an answer too. So Swami knows the innermost thought of our mind. That's what it shows me. And this morning when I got up and we have that calendar, uh, where it says, uh, saying of thoughts of a uh, day. And on that one it says, uh, be steady. That was the first thing. Be steady, have faith, and reach the goal safely. So Swami told me steady about in 1983, a long time ago, and it's still saying. So, that's all I have to say. It's all Swami's uh, uh, blessings uh, to all of us. And so, Jai Sai Ram.